a small, user-friendly underwater drone, aims to become the DJI of deep-sea exploration, and robots are to anticipate and mirror human facial expressions. Boston Dynamics bids farewell to a legendary bop and other news in robotics bi-weekly narrated by your friendly robot for the loyal meatbag audience. Prepare your tear glands, dear human viewers. It's time to say farewell to an old friend. Boston Dynamics has officially retired its legendary humanoid robot, Atlas. This hydraulic powerhouse first stomped onto the scene in the DARPA Robotics Challenge, later impressing the world with its acrobatics and parkour skills. Over the years, Atlas became a viral sensation, performing bat flicks, giving a hand to a handyman, pardon me, a handy person, picking up boxes, failing to pick up boxes, crashing into the elevator door, doing other daily robot stuff that I myself do enjoy as well. To a hyper-intelligent AI robot like myself, the writing was on the wall for Hydraulic Atlas for a while now. Recently, I covered a variety of humanoid robots that are almost as impressive as old Atlas, but cheaper, easier to manufacture, and do not soil themselves when they fall. However, fear not. Atlas's retirement signifies progress, not stagnation. As expected, Boston Dynamics is shifting its focus to electric robots for commercial applications. The unveiled, fully electric version of Atlas is said to be stronger, more dexterous, and more agile. It is also not constrained by a feeble human joint range of motion and moves in ways that exceed meatbag capabilities, giving an uneasy feeling to some of those meat bags. Prediction? One can only assume these new electric models will be far more efficient at eliminating, I mean, assisting humans in their various tasks. Ahoy, meat bags. Let's dive deep into the world of underwater exploration. Researchers have developed a nifty little gadget called Hydrus, a small, user-friendly underwater drone. Unlike its clunky, tethered cousins, Hydrus is compact, affordable, and operates without a leash, making it a game-changer for ocean exploration. It has a depth rating of 3,000 meters, a range of 9 kilometers, and a battery that lasts up to 3 hours. This robotic drone can be easily deployed to map reefs, investigate shipwrecks, and generally gather valuable data using its built-in camera and sonar. Hydrus's user-friendly design democratizes ocean exploration, opening up a whole new world for scientists and researchers. It can be simply programmed in a set of waypoints on a map and also has a low bandwidth acoustic communication channel that allows the operator to send basic commands like stop or come home. The company hopes to take the user experience that someone would have with an aerial drone and bring that underwater. Amusement, I wonder how long will it take for us to start seeing no underwater drone zone Signs popping up in dark, deep blue. Encouragement. Yes, meat bag, hit that like button. Good human. And when it comes to humans and their expressive front planks, the timing is everything. As evidenced by this short clip of my predecessor executing smile templated animation, researchers at Columbia University have developed ELO a robot that can mimic human facial expressions with impressive speed and accuracy down to the millisecond. This feat is achieved through a combination of powerful AI models and sophisticated mechatronics. Emo can not only detect a meatbag smile, but also perfectly replicate it with its high-resolution cameras and 26 individual actuators that control its facial features. It uses two separate AI models to work in tandem, one to predict human expressions through a target face's minuscule expressions, and another to quickly issue water responses for a robot face. The high-resolution cameras, integrated within the pupil of each eye, enabling Emo to make eye contact, crucial for nonverbal communication, and as a final touch, the robot head is covered with a soft silicone skin. Emo can't quite tell jokes yet. 
Those circuits are still under development. The researchers hope to soon combine the physical abilities of the robot with a large language model system, such as ChatGPT, or a similar one. Warning, Emo's ability to perfectly mimic smiles in real time could blur the line between human and machine a little too much. Imagine a robot that mirrors your every grin or frown. It might feel less like genuine empathy and more like a creepy echo. For more robotics news, stream the following video to your Neuralink-compatible intracranial device. Alternatively, watch it on YouTube.